Mark my words, the 2026 Tesla Model 2 will shock the industry in ways no one is ready for. Forget the price tag. The real story is the technology inside, an AI chip called the Monster. Maybe AI, AI can maybe tell us where are the aliens and what, you know, how did the universe really start? How will it end? What are the questions that we don't know that we should ask? Breakthrough batteries and a new way of building cars that could leave gas vehicles in the dust. So here's the real question. What exactly are these shocking changes? How will they transform your driving, your charging time, and even the way you think about owning a car? And is this the moment Tesla finally kills the gas-powered vehicle for good? You're watching Auto Gear Shift, the channel that cuts through the hype and gives you the hard data and real analysis behind Tesla's moves. If you're tired of clickbait and want straight, no-nonsense insights, you're in the right place. Do us a solid, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Let's smash through the 9,995 subs milestone today. And you can say you were here before the rest of the world caught on. How is AI5 the monster that changes the game for Model 2? Elon Musk recently lifted the curtain on Tesla's next-gen FSD computer, AI5, during the All In podcast. And he didn't hesitate to call it a monster. We've been hearing about AI5 for a while, but the new numbers Musk revealed were on a different level, so much so that Adam Jonas of Morgan Stanley, after a 1,400-mile FSD test, called Tesla's approach a true game-changer. Compared to today's HW4 system, AI5 isn't just a minor upgrade, it's a full reset in architecture. Musk says raw computing power will be eight times higher, memory capacity nine times larger, and bandwidth five times greater. Since HW4 carries 16 gigabytes of RAM, Tesla is considering up to 144 gigabytes in AI5, a huge jump to solve the memory bottlenecks that have been holding FSD back. This kind of capacity is critical because AI systems constantly push against memory ceilings, and AI5 finally clears that limit. The real breakthrough, though, lies in how AI5 is built. Tesla no longer relies on generic chips from third parties. Instead, it co-designs hardware and software so the silicon directly tackles the pain points of neural networks. That's why functions like Softmax can now run in fewer steps, and why AI5 can handle mixed precision models with much higher efficiency. These changes are the reason Musk calls it 40 times better in key benchmarks, because it attacks the exact problems that slow FSD down today. For Model 2, this means something important. Even though it's Tesla's most affordable car at $21,000, it won't be stripped of intelligence. So let me throw this to you. If the Model 2 really comes with AI5, a chip that could make driving two to three times safer than a human, would you trust it to take the wheel? Comment, I trust, if you'd be ready to let Tesla's FSD drive for you. Comment, not yet, if you'd still rather stay in control. And don't just drop two words only, share your reason in the comments, I'm curious to see where you stand. By the way, we're covering a lot more about the Model 2 and its upcoming features in other videos, so if you're interested, check them out on our channel and don't miss what's next. And don't go anywhere, because we have more coming up next. Price and Battery How can Tesla deliver a $21,000 EV with gas-like refueling speeds? The second shock surrounding the 2026 Tesla Model 2 comes down to price and battery technology. Multiple industry sources now suggest a starting price of just $21,000, nearly half the cost of today's $39,000 to $42,000 Model 3, and on par with gasoline compacts like the Toyota Corolla, $22,000, or Honda Civic, $23,000. At this level, Tesla is no longer competing with EV rivals. It's targeting the heart of the mainstream car market. For perspective, the cheapest Nissan LEAF still lists above $28,000, while China's best-selling budget EV, the BYD Dolphin, comes in closer to $25,000. If Tesla really launches at $21,000, it would instantly undercut the field. 
The only way such pricing makes sense is if Tesla slashes battery costs, and that's where the chemistry shift comes in. Reports point to two candidate technologies. The first is sodium ion, which analysts estimate costs as little as $60 to $70 per kilowatt hour, compared to $120 per kilowatt hour for current lithium packs. Sodium ion also eliminates the need for cobalt and nickel, cutting both price volatility and supply chain risk. Safety improves as well since sodium chemistry is less prone to thermal runaway, a key concern for mass market buyers. The second candidate is aluminum ion, and this is where the performance shock comes in. Lab data suggests aluminum ion could recharge to 80% in about 10 minutes, compared with 25 to 30 minutes for Tesla's current lithium packs at a supercharger. That's roughly the time it takes to pump a tank of gas, meaning for the first time a budget EV could erase the single biggest pain point in ownership. Waiting to charge. Energy density numbers remain speculative, but early estimates suggest aluminum ion could exceed 400 watt-hours per kilogram, compared with the 260 to 280 watt-hours per kilogram typical in today's lithium cells, potentially shrinking pack size and cost even further. If even one of these battery programs reaches volume production, the math works. A compact EV with a pack costing under $5,000 supported by Tesla's low-cost gigacasting and factory automation, makes a $21,000 sticker realistic. Design and Manufacturing How will Tesla's radical production change the future of Model 2? The third shock of the 2026 Tesla Model 2 isn't just about what the car looks like, but how it will be built. Leaks suggest a compact hatchback layout, measuring roughly 4.2 meters in length and 1.8 meters in width, designed to hit the sweet spot for Europe and Asia, where smaller cars dominate, while still carrying Tesla's minimalist styling and aerodynamic DNA with an expected drag coefficient under 0.23. That design decision alone positions Model 2 directly against bestsellers like the Volkswagen ID3, 4.26 meters, in Europe, and the Toyota Yaris, 4.0 meters in Asia, but Tesla's real advantage lies beneath the surface. Instead of traditional assembly, Tesla is preparing to build the Model 2 with gigacasting, where massive single-piece castings replace up to 400 welded parts from the rear underbody. Production will center on Gigafactory Mexico and Gigafactory Berlin, both expected to be retooled specifically around the Model 2. Mexico's location cuts logistics costs into the U.S. market by as much as 20% compared to Shanghai exports, while its average labor cost remains under $5 per hour, less than one-sixth of U.S. rates. Meanwhile, Berlin provides direct access to EU incentives that can shave 4,000 to 6,000 euros off purchase prices for consumers, giving Tesla a competitive edge in Europe's largest EV market. If both plants scale as planned, combined annual output could exceed 1.5 million Model 2 units by 2027, a volume that would eclipse the Volkswagen Golf's peak production years and set a new benchmark for affordable EVS. Today, traditional automakers spend $1 to $2 billion retooling a plant for each new model cycle, while Tesla's modular approach could cut that investment nearly in half. Competitors relying on stamping, welding, and linear assembly lines may find themselves five to seven years behind, unable to match both the cost structure and production speed. The story of the Model 2 is about rewriting the rules. A $21,000 EV that thinks faster than you, charges as quick as gas, and rolls off a factory line that looks nothing like what Detroit has known for a century. If Tesla pulls this off, it won't just launch a car, it could spark the biggest reset in auto history. So here's what I want to know from you. Would you trust an AI-powered $21,000 Tesla to replace your gas car? Do you believe traditional automakers can close the gap, or is this the moment Tesla leaves them behind for good? And most importantly, would the Model 2 be your next car? If you don't want to miss what comes next, hit like, subscribe, and turn on the bell. This is only the beginning of the Tesla revolution, and you'll want a front row seat.